Wow, been a couple of days since we clear coated this fine hot rod, and it's time now to put all the trim on, a little lipstick on the pig, right? Uh, I did order windshield today, had one in stock in the States, so I'm hoping, hopeful it'll be a week or so before it's here, but you know what? It is what it is, it's still cold out. I went through my basement inventory, I did buy a few things, like this is actually a proper piece of trim. I think I might have bought this for Danny's car, but... Uh, so we got the full length quarter. This is for the other side though, I believe. I bought a bunch of these on a whim and they're, they're door, but I'm pretty sure they're four door because they, they came with all four. Yeah, that's too short. I do have two of these, but they're pretty beat up. Um, we picked up, I've used this stuff lots, vinyl and fabric dye coating, whatever you want to call it. So a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Turn them black, no problem. And then we got a whole bag of miscellaneous clips, but uh, you can see through the bag. These weren't cheap. They're like $1.50 each or something like that. So all these bunch of miscellaneous ones for all the trim to go on proper. And of course we have a bunch of trim in the back. Now step one is probably getting these covered up because everyone just, these dense people can't let me live down. So I need to go ahead and hopefully redeem myself that I'll be covered up. And Merce gonna come over and help me put the bumpers on because usually I put the bumpers wherever and use the floor jack until it kind of guides itself in on the bodywork. But uh, I actually care about this thing. It's carrying what a car is terrible. I don't really recommend it. But uh, yeah, I'll start doing that. So bumpers on, put some of the side trim on, put the door handles on. I went and had a set of uh, wheels and tires put together today. So they're gonna look good. That, that'll be the last thing we put on today. It's actually sunny out even though it's freaking freezing. I'd like to back this thing out uh, once we get her together just a little bit. So we'll see what trim we get on. It might be kind of a little bit here, a little bit there. Bumpers first and then uh, wheels and tires because I want the wheels and tires on. So step one is fitting these giant pieces on now. This, I only have the one long piece. I, I've i been looking, swap meet's coming up so you never know what I'm going to find. It'd be really nice to find proper chrome for this thing now that I'm uh, kind of obsessed with it so I might have to pay up but I think even these they only sell them in pairs and you try and buy them uh, like brand new which brand new is already tough to take huh I got two holes here I wonder what one I used and the, the, the care I'm having right now is ridiculous mm. this hole looks newer so we'll try that oh no panic Man, the stress people must have working on like high dollar cars. It's gotta be ridiculous. I have it on this small dollar car. Oh no, where's the screw? Uh, yeah, it looks all right. Okay, so just that one piece is on and the dent is already basically hidden. Am I right? I'm right. Okay, so we're taking a break from putting trim on to uh Straighten out a bumper. This Murr's obsessed with it's looking good. I said it was fine. So we got two by fours, a press, and a wore out old bumper, which is bent in two different ways. We'll, we'll see what happens. We could just scoosh under the bobcat bucket. <laughs> could do that. back it up and put it here and do it. Okay, so bumper is uh, 
Well, Murr's idea was straightening on the press, which we did, and then his next idea was once it's on the car, straight with a pipe wrench. So, so we need to fix it to the car. And the back bumper's not too bad to put on. It's the front. Where, what should I do? Just lift it up? So it just kind of slides on the outside of the rail. And really, it's just a problem. Smash it into the quarter panel. Should be 90 degrees and you could stand on it. Do you own a pipe wrench? Not one that, not a big one. It wants to go. Yeah, see, so it wants the to other go. Way. Yeah, so you want to. Yeah, you know what you're doing there? Well, I've got a big one. Either we'll bring it over or when the car's over, it's just. We'll drive it over. Yeah. Some... Yeah, that's the idea. I feel like it's going to come off and smash me in the face. So... We'll call her installed. Yeah. All right, front bumper. This comes in slightly better shape. You know, this is awesome because it's good. Okay, so the MERS always handy to have around. I've got the bumper hung. Now bear in mind, this is all just junk stuff. It's not the best stuff I have, but uh, it is what it is. Well, that's the West pad. We'll see if we can get her kind of cleaned up, but it turned out pretty good. Um, okay, now everyone gave me attitude about not fixing the quarter panel. You can put your hand up, admit you did it. Well, it's not that bad. So it, it hid all that horrible body work. I know all the experts there that would have finished that with a hammer and dolly and no body filler, but it worked out just fine. Um, this one piece here is just a little loose and unfortunately the clip's in, the clip is just loose in the trim. So I got to like crimp the trim, but that's fine for now. Works out just good. I think it looks freaking fantastic. I really would like to find uh, a single piece here. I believe the upper is in two pieces anyways, so it's kind of irrelevant, but a single bottom piece would be really nice. This door, I have the piece of trim, but I don't know if I'm gonna put it on just yet, because I didn't do this. This came on a door pre-holes drilled in it, so kinda meh. Now on the other side, I do have a good one for the door, and like I have that one long piece. Unfortunately, the center section is gonna be in two, <laughs> so. It kind of is what it is, but I think that's what we'll do. We'll put the quarter panel piece on because that really changes it. I might put the door piece on this side. And then ultimately that's kind of all the good trim I have. Our local swap meet's coming up in two weeks and I got my eyes peeled. So if I can find, I don't have any fender trim, but fender trim is the same on a four door. So it should be fairly common. So if I got to pay up a little bit for two fender trims and one door trim, I'd be set. This thing will look kind of okay. Back bumper, it's okay. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. I do have all new uh, lenses for it, but we're getting there. So we'll put this side on real quick, the door. We'll probably put the hood spears or the rockets in, and then realistically, snap the tonneau on, a few little things like that, clean up the inside. I like to change the wheels and back it outside and see what it looks like in the gleaming sun. So let's get working on this side. This stuff was never on, so it might be a little bit of screwing around to make it all fit, but uh, yeah, we'll figure it out, we're smart. Okay, I'll show you my progress on my blunder. So for some reason, there was a little clip on the back here, I didn't take off, paint over it, and it was hanging down. So now, if I move it, it's not gonna show the paint. So that's pain, I'll have to figure that out later, or just live with it the way it is, but that's on. Man, it's this thing shiny. Uh, here the back, pieces so obviously this is where the door would have been so 
I did, you can see where it's on the slots, it's pushed all the way back. Obviously on a four door, there would be a gap there, the door gap. So we pushed them back, lined them up best we can. It does stick out just a little here. I'm hoping the little piece of trim will hold it in. Now it's very simple, these things like, oh, this one's missing one, but uh, you literally just kind of line it up, snap it in, and that's it. Uh, we have this long piece, which this should fit no problem as well. I believe this side was pretty good. It's hard to do one-handed. Uh, oh my God. These little things have moved, so I gotta organize that. And then the bottom piece, it's real long. And unfortunately there's no clips in it, so I'll have to get some clips, make some clips work. I don't know if we'll be able to accomplish that right now or not, but it will go all the way. So that'll be, that'll be a nice piece. And it's a decent shape. I mean, it's beat up here and there. We can probably polish part of that out. So we'll get that taken care of and then we'll put this top piece on. I think that's where we're going to leave the chrome for tonight. Mostly because I don't really have any. Well, we'll do the rockets, but I want to change these wheels. I, uh, I'm just obsessed with this vision in my head of new wheels. And I think it's going to make the car look really good. So, and really, if I get this bottom piece of trim on, you got to reach up in here a little. So the wheels might have to come off anyway. So I might have to drill some new holes. At which point, uh, well, take these wheels up with the good ones on. So it's the next day. I know what you're thinking. I was talking up these wheels. I backed the car out and it's got steel wheels on it. You're sort of right. I had a set of cool hubcaps, but they're not going to fit these wheels. So I had to order another set, but I did kind of jam on these ones to kind of show the look I want. I saw a guy on the internet run a set of baby moons on a 57 Chevy. And I think this looks friggin' fantastic. Um, <clears throat> anyways, I've put on a little bit of trim, clean up the interior just a little bit, like, you know, take the junk out of it. So I think what we're going to do today, we're going to finish up, we're going to paint those seats a little bit while we have the garage out. I'll clean that up on my own. I then want to hit everything, all the trim and whatnot, with a little bit of a SOS pad, get all the junk off it, make it shine as best we can so it'll look decent on the outside. Um, I did order the glass, I don't know if I said that or not yesterday. So windshield's on its way. We should have this thing done on the outside. I'm missing... Fender trim, I don't have a V for the hood, and one door is kind of mediocre. So either go rob stuff off Danny's car, so I'd rather not, or like I said, swap meets come up in a couple weeks. So I think we're just gonna leave it as is, shine it all up. I have new tail light lenses, and I have new signal light lenses, or park light lenses, whatever you wanna call them. I did order a set of mini, or baby moons, at 100 bucks, but they should be here hopefully sooner rather than later. Those things look good. Unfortunately, tri fives look so ugly without a window in them. They just, ugh. But we're working on it. So, uh, yeah, I'll get set up. We'll paint these seats real quick, dye them, because that'll take a day to set. And then the next video will start probably tomorrow. Pull that out, start putting the interior together, and this thing will be a styling hot rod. So, uh, I'm going to dye these seats a little bit. I just wiped down with some Windex. So they're nice and clean. Um, we're going to garage the door down because I'm a painted car guy now. And, uh, Taking the overspray on my fantastic hot rod. So this stuff's pretty simple. It literally just kind of dives or etches into the vinyl, I guess. It does a bunch. It's definitely not perfect, but uh, it lasts pretty good. I think my 47 Chevy has had the seat and the carpet and everything in it. So we'll give these a hose down. <clears throat> smells funny. And I think the uh, cloth takes a couple of coats. The vinyl usually goes pretty quick. Then we'll let this set up overnight. 
Good to go tomorrow for the next video. So a little ways later, and I know you're a little rough today. I mean, yeah. Anyway, so the seats are all painted up. Um, they're nice and shiny. They will dull out as you kind of sit on them and use them. But I mean, it's not just paint or whatever. It's they're dyed or whatever. Look, not on my hands. We're good. This stuff, it does, well, actually, it's not too bad. Used to, last time I used it, remember, it got a little crunchy. Now, what will happen is you sit on it, see, kind of as you pull the fabric, it'll show the brown a little through. So we'll probably end up doing the centers again. But you know what? That's just fine. Uh, SOS pad. This is how real men polish their rods. So I've been doing a little scoot around out here and I'll just kind of show you. Uh, I definitely decided I love this thing, but I will want to wet sand and polish it. There's a few spots which could be nicer. So I've kind of done a half and half. Now the, the bright work on this thing, it's haggard. I mean, it's beat up, it's broken. It's, well, it's all sorts of stuff. So. You know what I mean? But, so this one is dirty, haven't touched it. Uh, obviously the, the grill bar is just kind of what it was. No, there's overspray on that, but I mean, it polishes up decent. We're going for driver quality. Same thing all around here. You know, going down the road, it'll look just fine. I've done this back piece. I gave this a quick go. I'm really concerned about rubbing the paint. So, I'm, you know, I want to be careful. I mean, it's been two days. It's hard, but it's still soft. You know what I mean? So we got that, but just going at the back here, like this is what this is looking like. And even if we get the paint and all that off, it's just real unhappy. But this was the same and you know, it came out nice, it's shiny. It's got pits in it, obviously. Stuff like this, we're not ever gonna get out. There's no way around it. This bumper is hashed, but it'll look okay. So maybe we'll set the camera up and we'll do just a little bit of polishing on this. And then I'll finish off the rest of the car. The sun is going down. We got two hands worth-ish. So couple hours and then we're deciding what we're gonna do with uh, trim I think I might steal off Danny's car and then yeah interior next man you guys are in for a real treat all right so we're on the side of this hot rod whoops sorry about that um no well, I mean most of this is dirt there's a little bit of paint on it I mean that's that's rust take our SOS pad and some well this is watered down Windex but water works just fine and we're gonna kind of Give it a little bit. Now it comes out fast. So I'll just kind of do this one little bit and I'll show you the mere finish we're going to get. Look at that. Isn't that freaking something? So go over it. Now this is steel wool and I, I did do a bit of a poor job masking. Actually, I think Murr's fault was on this one somehow, but uh, I'm concerned about rubbing into the paint. So I think what we'll probably do is take it kind of like when we're doing polishing, you know, you take it to the edges or close to the edge you don't want the edge itself done just in case you catch an edge. Well, I don't want to catch the, the paint and put a swirl in it. Not that it's the end of the world because we're probably going to hit this thing with some, oh, 1500 grit or something like that. Now, this is paint. I may have, oh, no, it's coming off. Um, but, yeah, when we, you know, once we get it all polished, we'll go through and do the last little bit of this. Or, hey, this thing's nice enough, especially if you get the, the paint taken care of. If I find some of these, I'll buy them. Unfortunately, these tri fives, look at that. Tell me that's not a drivable quality. The problem with these tri fives, so there's no wheel wells, so all the crap that from the wheels gets spit up in here and here, and they all rot out, just like how they rot out fender uh, buckets on the fenders, the headlight buckets, I should say, sorry. Anyways, I'm gonna keep going at this. We'll get it all kind of sheened up nice maybe we'll set the camera so you can watch it it's quite sunny out as the sun goes down but get all taken care of put it in the garage for the night and this video
Okay, here's the last little bit. We did a little fast motion, but this is gonna be the most satisfying. Now, realizing I did this, this is actually a really nice grill bar. You know what, I think I got this in decent shape because they all break on tri well, 57s, and uh, this one wasn't broken. I don't know where I got it from, but I know it didn't come with the car because this car had no grill or nothing. And this is how I treat things. But now that I'm a, I'm a painter, everything's gotta be perfect. But this little bit of primer overspray and stuff, it'll come right off. All right, you guys ready for the glamorous shot? Ooh, uh, it's like a Meguiar's commercial. Look at that. Man, this grill bar is nice. I'm pretty sure, like, this might actually be out the black car, because the black car, when I got it, had a good grill bar. And then, now oh, it's broken. So I'm wondering if maybe I robbed it off the black car. So there's still little specks here and there. The primer we gotta get off, but I think that's it. I think we're gonna, I gotta charge camera a little bit. Do a little walk around with this fine hot rod and sun's going down, call her a night. Back at another day. Well, that's where we ended up. We got her all kind of polished up. We gave her the 80% done. Merle fixed the last little bit there when we wet sand and polished the old girl. So that's where we're gonna leave it for today. I'm happy with it. Set the paint and the it's got a little bit of orange peel down on the side and stuff like that to get around it, but still pretty presentable car. I think it's gonna look good. I really like the red. Um, interior next, we have a little stuff for that, windshield's been ordered, maybe later this week, if not next, I'm hoping, and let's be honest, once we get the interior, we're driving it anyways, put some sunglasses on, look cool, and yeah, that's the end of it, so, thanks for watching, like the channel, thanks for all the support on this thing, I really appreciate you guys, been super nice to me in the comments for some reason, even though I'm a butcher with a paint gun now, but, uh, we'll put this thing away, see you tomorrow, oh, subscribe to the channel, Danny appreciates it. I think they're all just happy to see something with paint. I know, right? People actually, they're shocked. I'm actually accomplishing something. Oh, look at this. A little start. Oh, yeah. A little starter, Sam. You might have lost a <laughs> First of many. All right, see you tomorrow.